how would you, your performance, how would you rate that Saturday? Uh, I think I played all right. Um, I definitely have a lot more work to do, just like everybody else in the defense. So I think I'm going to just take it with a grain of salt and keep on striving to get better each week. Uh, it definitely feels good anytime you get recognized by your coaches, but uh, it definitely motivates you to, to just keep on grinding at practice and keep keep your, keep working to get better each week. He called you, he's called you the best player, or the players had the most improvement from a year ago. What's been different for you? I just think I matured a lot as a player. Um, I just go about my preparation a lot more vigorously, and I'm just more comfortable with the playbook. So I think anytime you, you're comfortable with the playbook, it helps you definitely play faster on the field because you're not really thinking as much. So I think just the fact that I don't have to think about it as much is, is definitely helping. How tough was that transition? It was it was pretty difficult at the beginning, just just kind of bringing myself back into a defensive mentality. Uh, I played defense in high school, so it wasn't, wasn't that bad of a transition, but just definitely coming from the offensive side and learning all the plays and stuff on defense was definitely the most difficult part. How much does confidence play a role in that system? I mean, you can make a good play, you're building upon that, but yeah. it seems like it can kind of pile on you when the bad play starts. Uh, confidence is definitely a big thing at corner because you're, you're out there. It seems like you're, you're so far away from everybody else and you're out there on, in the spotlight against some of the best receivers in the country. So I think definitely once you get plays made on you, it's definitely uh, you got to have confidence enough to come back and say, okay, I'm going to give him the next time and just, just keep fighting throughout the game. What were you guys telling Bradley? I mean, he had a couple hit on him. Yeah. What were you guys telling him to keep him up? Uh, I mean, just just keep playing your game. I mean, we, we as a defense and as a team, as a whole, we know what Bradley can do and what type of athlete he is. So we never lost faith in that. Um, I say towards the end of the spring, definitely, I just felt a lot different and become more comfortable with the defense. So I definitely be playing a little bit faster than I was last year. Is there a favorite play you had in this last game? Uh, favorite play, I think. Once I got moved over to number eleven, the fade was definitely my favorite play because you just felt like they, I knew what they were gonna do, and we talked about it in the huddle. Just to be ready for it and go out there and make a play, just felt good for my for, make a play for my team. It seemed like on that play you competed for the ball right down to the end. How much has that been an improvement for you to fight for the ball even with the guy yeah. who has it in his hands? Uh, I think Coach Saban definitely has taught us corners well how to play the ball when you're when you're out of phase and in phase and stuff like that. So just using the lessons that he taught us in practice definitely pushed over to the game, and uh, I was able to be effective on that play. We think the, the greatest lesson he's taught you as a cornerback in, in, in practice. Um, definitely just using your eyes and looking at the right things. Uh, I think a lot of times that corners, corner people, uh, take their eyes off the wrong things, and that's how you get out of position and, and, and get behind in certain plays and stuff like that. So definitely eye control. What's it like having him in practice, being like your positional coach? Oh, it's great. Um, you, you're definitely learning from a guy who has a, a lot of knowledge, and uh, so it's definitely a lot of pressure on you just to take everything he's saying and kind of study it and use it again. Clear point on Saturday. Did it did it slow down just a little bit for you? Because early on, I know there was some confusion yeah. in the back end. Um, I think. I can't really pinpoint the exact time it slowed mm -hmm. down, but I definitely know we got more comfortable as the game went on. I mean, it came out blazing fast, so it definitely was good that we, we showed a lot of poise and was able to be effective. And how important was it to hold them to field goals instead of sevens? Oh, that's definitely big. Anytime you can hold a team to three points instead of six or seven is great, uh, and it, it, it gives you a lot of momentum coming out when you're able to get a big stop. One more. Did it help? that the offense was kind of owning the football, too, just to give you guys a, yeah. a little breather on the sideline. Yeah, the offense definitely uh, just just held the tempo mm -hmm. and controlled the ball and gave us a lot of rest time. Uh, it's big, we big in the locker room on just offense having our backs and our, we having theirs, so we definitely well, thank the offense a lot. I know Saban's never going to be like satisfied unless you're absolutely perfect and nobody ever is, but what's he like after you give up 300 yards? Was he fired up? Um, Coach Saban is not really the type of guy to just jump you when you do something wrong. I mean, he's going to pinpoint out what we can get better at and what we can uh, improve. But uh, I don't think he's going to – he was too upset about it. I mean, you, we, we always got our room for improvement no matter if we get up 100 yards or 300 yards. So he's never going to be satisfied in that. I don't think we should be satisfied with defense either. Coach said that Eddie is telling him that he's, he's fully ready to go. Does, from what you're seeing, is that true? you think he's fully back? 
Um, I think Eddie has done a great job at uh, just getting to rehab and working hard to get better. So I don't really know too much about where he is physically, but if he says he's ready, then I mean, um, I, don't, I guess he is. How big a loss is Jarek right now? Uh, Jarek being out uh, is definitely a loss. Uh, Jarek being out is definitely probably going to affect us in some way, but I think the young guys we have are ready to step up, so I'm not, I don't really know too many details on, on how long he's out for or what for, but uh, I think the young guys we have behind him are ready to step up. Did you realize he was hurt when, when he was hurt? I didn't even know he was hurt until yesterday when we got here, so I don't know too much about it. Is there a difference when you're going up one of the bigger physical receivers compared to a shifty, smaller guy? What was the difference in the race? Uh, it's definitely it's different because, I mean, a bigger receiver, they're, they're not really known to kind of run by you. They're, they're pretty much using that physical ability just to kind of box you out and get position on you. But the smaller guys, it's tough to get a hand on them, so you definitely got to be real focused on your feet and your hands and stand on balance. How do you make up for that size difference? Like like with 11 uh, on Saturday, how, how do you how do you like make up for that? I think just using the proper technique that Coach Sam has taught us and uh, – just, just getting in the right position. Um, just using our hands and feet to get a get a jam on them, try to slow them up and, and mess with the timing of their route. So I definitely think that helps. How much does playing receiver help you when you're defending? Like, you know, like uh, yeah, I think playing receiver definitely helps you out if you get moved over to the other side of the ball because it, it just you know the tendencies of, of certain route receivers and definitely when you watch film on them, you get the tendencies even better. So receiver definitely helps you just knowing releasing things like. How do you think Blake played? Uh, I think Blake definitely played played well. Uh, I mean, it's not really up to me to make that uh, assumption of how he played, but from what I can see, I think he, he, he's a great leader, and uh, we definitely have a lot of faith in him. Two more. Cyrus, after a freshman year, when did it kind of click for you that cornerback would be the best way you could get on the field? Um, I think in springtime, just uh, – Coming up here, learning the defense every day, and then finally getting out there in the spring practice, and uh, just just showing what I can do, and trying to be a competitor, and uh, just just being open to what Coach Saban would uh, was what he saw in me and playing cornerback. Did he approach you, or did you approach him about moving? Um, he approached me uh, after my freshman year, uh, after that after that fall, and uh, he just he just told me that if it was something I wanted to do, uh, and I said if you think I can help the team, uh, I'll be fine with it. You mentioned how important technique is um, in covering these receivers. And Bradley had good coverage in terms of proximity to the receiver. What could he have done technically better to, to prevent those big plays? Um, I think when you're playing corner, I mean, the technique is definitely important. But it's, it's so many times where you're in great position, you just misjudge the ball sometimes, or the receiver just simply makes a great catch. So, I mean, you definitely want to put yourself in position with technique. But if he's a great receiver and it's a great throw, there's not much you can do a lot of the time. All right.